Standing here at the valley, ready to fish. Sun's up. Trying to catch some lake trout. Waiting for my ride to get here. That's my ride out there. Come on, Kenny. Bring it right on in here. Forgot my gloves in the car. Forgot my gloves in the car. Gloveless. Take your time. All right, ready? Ugh. All right, yep. Yeah. Nice morning at the valley. Nice morning. Whole crew's out. Everyone's trying to get the trout. Damn, the shoreline fleets. These people are all lake trout fishing. They're fishing for them lakers. It's a whole crew. I think it's just a hot shore spot. Or it's just like a hot... It's a, it's a trout... Spot. Yeah, well, it's Round Valley, you know, it's a trout lake. A number of fishermen on the shoreline. To the tits! To the hump, yeah. To the numbers. We're gonna go fish our marks from last year. Yeah? Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, we got trout rising. These people got a kayak. See that kayak? Yeah, I know, right? I don't know. They might be kayaking baits out. It's a real short run, dude, to the car. 61 foot. This is where we were last year, about this time. When the first time we came to the valley. Oh shit, you got net. Nope. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let me see that. Let me get this. Jig them out of there. Jig them out of there. All right, that's like kind of gonna, kind of gonna work. <laughs> well, get your own jig and then start jigging your own minnows. <laughs> All right, here we're gonna just say screw that idea. Oh, oh yeah. Two dozen shinners. How much did that cost? How many? Is that three dozen? Six dollars a dozen? Seven dollars a dozen? Sixteen bucks? Sixteen dollars worth of shiners. Well, we just lost a shiner. Did you lose one? We lost one. Dude, it's gonna... It's hard to get more water out than that. I don't think it's worth it to reach your hand in there, honestly. There we go. Here, throw a few in there. Cause yeah, we don't. Yeah, nice. That's that's good. Yeah. That water's actually not cold. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll reach my hand in next time. Same presentation as when we were fishing through the ice, jigging spoons with meat. Today it's shiners, cut shiners, on little spoons, three eighth ounce spoon. And we're just gonna try to jig them. We got no wind today. That's why we're doing this. We knew it was gonna be nice out, even though it's 20 degrees. There's like no wind, and the forecast shows very little winds throughout the day. And those are the kind of days you gotta get out here when you got the little boat. Too bad the captain can't control his drift. Drifting all over the place. Are we drifting fast, really? Oh, we're drifting like kind of fast. Dude, this line is is bad. Look at this. Look at this, Kenny. What is that? What is that? Ice? No, nah, it's a uni to uni. Oh, man. Oh, that's like, Nine now pounds. Now we're up to eight pound line. Now it's eight pound line. We got four pound line to eight pound line. And it's like coiled. So coiled. Bad style I got right now. We marking? Oh, yeah? I'm going to bring it up. Is it coming up? Yeah. Is there anything under it? No, that's your jig there. That's cool. See that? Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Damn, even this old. Yeah, so if that's marking the chick, I'll mark fish. Yeah. But that's because I got that. The sensitivity. Maxed out. I might have a fish. I have a fish rising for it. Yeah, you got one under you. Get him. Oh, got him. Got him, son. Son. Oh, I lost him. That's cool, though. That's because of that bullshit line. Yeah, that works. Fucking death finder works. That works, yeah. Fucking kill here. Yeah. Nice, dude. Dang. If only I had landed that one. Oh, he's back. Ah, I lost oh, him again. Where you? Lost, lost him again. <laughs> Not a tall, ain't going in the wrecks. <laughs> with this four pound line, eight pound line, with this incredibly light, five foot ultralight power. This isn't a tournament winning lake trout combination right here. This is like a recreational, let's have a good day. I'm gonna get another piece of bait on here. And yeah, these guys came right up on us. Either they know that this is like the spot or they know that we know this is the spot. Something like that. Like right over there? Yeah. Yeah. Because this is just that, remember that first obscure mark? Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's go. Why did you go to the obscure mark? So it's just settling in and you're like, all oh, antsy to fish. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Unbelievable, Kenny. No, no, we didn't miss. There was no miss. The valley holds the fruit. The fruit of Round Valley. Cornucopia of trout. The lake trout. Come try to jig a lake trout. What kind of depth we got? Dang, perfect. 74 feet of water. That sounds like a real good depth to be catching some lake trout. Damn, we're trying to get on that lake trout sleigh, but they're not they're not on that sleigh right now. Not like they were this time last year. Got all these marks from last year. And we did well. We did real well. We probably caught 50 lake trout the few times that we came up here. We did well. Of course, now we're not doing well. I feel like if they were here in numbers, like first light like this, we would have we would have hit them. These lake trout are starved. Apparently there's no bait in this lake. The state wants you to keep them, so they have uh, six. The limit is six of is a slot, 18 to 20. Is it 18 or 16? 16 to 24. I think it's 16. 16 to 24, you're allowed six, and then you're allowed a seventh fish over 24. That's generous servings of lake trout right there. They want you to keep them because there's no there's no forage in this lake and they're stunted. There's like none over 10 pounds. There's a couple, but like such a small percent of the population is over 10 pounds. The biggest they've netted is 30 over 30 pounds. Right, we're yeah, we're going. It's time. It's time to make a move. We're gonna make a move. Try to get to greener waters here because we're not getting them here. Uh, you're headed right for it. Over here a little more. Keep going. Keep going. We got a little ways. Yeah, you're like directly on course right now. Alright. Right here. Cut it. We should be smack dab in the middle of these contour lines. 
This might be the spot. 56 feet of water. Yeah, when that fish, when you're fishing, that might be a big fish. That marked? That, the, no. The fish, yeah, there's like a lot of bass to like. Yeah. Mark. Maybe. I mean, I was using this, dude. This with four pound line. You see this thing? Which, yeah, but what, what, this thing's a, a noodle dick. I dropped I down. You got you got fish? <laughs> oh he was right. I lost him though. Oh my god, that That, that looks big. Yeah, that looks like, big. Like, yeah. Oh Dang. Oh my god. It feels surreal to get bit. We got bit though. Oh, oh, we got a fish on here, Captain. We got a fish on here, Captain. Oh yeah, there he is. Look at the crystal clear waters of the valley coming up. Oh yeah. Get the gaff. Get the gaff. Oh, there's the laker. There it is. The fruit of the valley right there. We got him. We got him, Kenny. We finally got him. <laughs> it, yep, we, we hooked him in the eye, but that was the only way. Man, it feels good. That felt awesome to get bit right after you got bit. Like, things are starting to make sense now. This thing is hooked in the eye so bad, like his eye is completely, completely lost. We lost his eye. Someone, I'm left with the best, oh, yeah. the best lake trout bait ever right there. Drop lake that. trout eye. Oh, damn, that's going to be good. So we're going to, we're going to harvest this fish to do the state of New Jersey a solid. Solid slot fish, yeah, 20, uh, 20 inches, 21 inches, 21 inches, native trout too, these things are, uh, reproducing like crazy in here, and they're all this size, they're all gonna be that size, so there's one, that was great, oh, he's got no eye though, look at that, oh, I'm gonna drop that right down, the, the eye, oh my god, that's gonna be, that's gonna be nice. There's no way that's all fish. Huge marks on the screen at mid depth. Nah, they're like. Mid depth hunters. You miss one? Yeah. What? High up off the bottom, right? But you got bit, apparently. You got bit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was still halfway up. It's crazy. No! Fish jumped. That was a fish that jumped. Let's get him. <laughs> fish just jumps out of nowhere. What are the odds? Getting them right now. Man, that looks good in the water. This this eye. Look at that, Kenny. That's like perfect. No, that's the same eye. It's perfect. Oh, how is there just gonna be like trout jumping? I hear a lot of talk, Kenny. Yeah, I see it, but I don't see I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. <laughs> You're not catching them. I'm not impressed until he's on your line though. I think it's pretty far south, but I don't know. I know the spots to get him. Yeah, like 42 or something. Over 40. 
Oh, he's on. Might be his first fish of the day. Oh, right as I said it. <laughs> Dang. Oh, for three, he is. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, for three. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Miss him? Miss another one? No. Just lost. The, just. <laughs> these are tough times. This is February, man. Bites come rare in February. Like nah. Well, it took me a few times, yep. You need more backbone to your rod. You need a you need a whooping stick on there. The hook set. Yeah, that jig. Use your tog. Why aren't you using your tog setup? Yeah, why aren't you using your lever drag? Are you going for the surface trout? Look at that. I know. I, I think that there'd be some surface trout. Slow day on the valley. Slow as molasses out here. The Shiner, perfect jig head too. This this jig head is actually perfect, Kenny. That's like the perfect jig head for lake trout, <laughs> for this situation. What are you seeing? Seventy-four feet of water here. Some good depth. Maybe we should throw anchor on your mark. Back, back there. Whatever, like the hottest mark we have is. <laughs> These leaks out are freaking. Difficult. I don't understand. It's not like there's anything for them to eat in here. It's like when there's food, they should just eat it. No questions asked. Yeah, let's fucking move. Because this is Deadsville. Just one measly laker. Damn. Captain's getting aggressive. Desperate. Desperation sets in in the noon o'clock hour. The desperation is real. You've got some play to it. It's got, it's, a, it's, 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 it's like wood. Oh, a rope. Oh, you've got a rope. We're gonna lose it. Here, let me see this, let me see this. Let me see your crackhead. No, 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 no. Oh, you're not getting that out, dude. Rope? No. No chance. Very tough conditions here in the valley. Perfect weather. Fish just not cooperating. I don't know, dude. It's bad. So that's about all we got for today. Unfortunately, the fishing was pretty slow. Fish did not cooperate. Uh, Kenny and I thought we were going to do pretty well today, considering that we would have good boat control. You know, we could go fish the spots that we fished last winter. And um, yeah, it didn't happen. Uh, there was fish. We marked a good number of fish all day. And uh, we each had three or four bites. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It just didn't pan out like we had hoped. Uh, we still got to enjoy the nice weather. Uh, by the time we left, uh, air temperatures were in the 40s. And with no wind and sunshine, it felt really, really nice out there. So uh, even though we didn't slay the lake trout, we did get to at least spend a nice day on the water. And that's huge this time of year in February. Uh, so I don't know what my next move is. I don't know when I'm going fishing again. Everything is really slow right now. But uh, I'll be sure to have plenty more videos for you guys to come in the future.